Patchworks. Uh, here we've got this uh, souped up 50cc um, Honda Ruckus motor with the 8 inch rear, uh, rear wheel and we're going to install into uh, this uh, Ruckus. We have this Composmo uh, mount here that, uh, that we're going to show you how to install. All right, so the first step is we've got this mount here, these two pieces. Um, that this is going to go on the top and this is going to go on the bottom. Um, but the problem is that these bolts that are supplied don't fit through here. We have to drill this out. So um, that's the first thing we're going to do. And uh, I've got a uh, drill bit here, um, basically just big enough to uh, so that we can fit this uh, bolt through. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill this out. You just want to check and make sure it fits through. It does perfectly. Just do the other one. There's a few things we'll have to grind off. We're going to grind off this, this tab here. Um, we'll probably just go back and forth with it just to make it easy real quick. Um, and then these guys too. So I just bent that off. We're just going to smooth out that weld and get these out of the way so that way the uh, when we put this plate on, it's flat. Right now it's not flat. So I'm just going to uh, grind off these welds here and make sure you wear protective eyewear. You know, you got your gas tank right down below. You got to make sure that that's empty, you know, and, and safe. You're not going to cause an explosion. As you can see, it's nice and smooth. Um, I mean, we're going to repaint it and then uh, this guy's going to cover that but there'll still be like a little bit that you'll, you'll see, so we're gonna make sure we paint that. If you want to make, make it look great, then you're gonna have to use uh, some sandpaper and uh, you know 60 grit all the way down to 2000 grit, paint it, wet sand, buff it, but uh, this is gonna be all covered, so next I'm gonna do this little guy here and uh, get that out of the way. Now I've got the, this all smooth. That way when I put this plate on like this, it's gonna look great. You can put it either way, really. I think I'll put it this way. So when you look down or open it, you'll see the Composmo logo. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint this. Most of this is gonna be covered. The main reason I'm painting it is kind of some of it is exposed, and um, and uh, we don't want you know, we don't want to rust either. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of paper behind it. Just do a quick. This will be the first coat, I'll wait a minute and then spray another coat. Now I'll just do a, one more quick coat. Like I said, this is not a perfect paint job. This is more so it doesn't rust because it's going to be covered. So we'll wait for that to dry and we'll be ready to put that bracket on. Next thing is we're going to grind off this tab, this, uh, this wire uh, that holds uh, a hose uh, or the wire loom. We're going to grind that off. So what I like to do to start is just get a crescent wrench and uh, you know, squeeze it down instead of some pliers because you have to constantly squeeze the pliers. I just like to bend it back and forth, just like that. See that side bent and that side broke. That way you're, it's really easy to grind the tab and you don't have this in the way. So I'm going to grind uh, here again. So as you can see, we grinded off all our little tabs and I painted it. Um, so uh, the next step is to install this shock mount. As you can see, it's got uh, it's got the, uh, the the little frame cut out here, and then this is where the shock goes. So we're going to just slide it through like this. It's kind of staying by itself right now. So now I'm just going to uh, stick this uh, Allen bolt through and just tighten this down. This goes right where the shock would have gone. I'm going to keep it a little bit loose and then uh, slide our uh, 
bolts through there. And then we'll hand start this. We just want to hand start everything. You can't get to it. Good. All right, so um, I, I took the intake boot and carburetor off the motor. Um, and see, they, you've got these, you can't pull this, this spacer out of here. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is just take a screwdriver and pry these, uh, this little black sleeve back, just like that. I'll do that on, pull this guy out of there. And you can pull these little black sleeves off on you know, both ends. You won't be using them. Um, so this mount is one piece, this piece and this piece is one piece. So that's uh, how it goes. I just wanted to show you exactly how this all went. And then you've got the shock uh, back in there. So uh, so then we've got this, uh, this support bracket. You notice how it curves up? You've got the engine mount here. And it's kind of pinched between the motor mount and the actual engine. And that's where this guy connects. And then it goes up to the front here. If you notice the spacer in the uh, in the center, that's exactly how it looks. And then you've got the the offset um, uh, little block.